Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's me Kane, and I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful, WONDERFUL week so far. I hope you're all having a genuinely good day as well, whatever day you happen to be watching it. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> what a, what a few weeks this has been with this new game. I ain't gonna talk about the obvious elephant in the room, I know there'll be some people that'll be talking about a certain topic I know it's a very divisive topic this is this topic that I'm about to talk about in fact friendships could even be ruined purely because of my opinion on this topic specifically this topic right now but let me get straight into it black ops 6 oh man black ops 6 zombies even <laughs> Man, I am so happy. I'm so happy that this game is good, man. I am so happy how much fun it is. Genuinely, this game... I want to say this. We're back. We are back. <laughs> Zombies is back. And it's never been this great before, in my personal opinion. I, I am just so happy with how well this game has like, turned out. Um, and... Oh man, Treyarch freaking cooked and then some. They gave us some special treats with the meal. It's just, oh, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing launch so far for Black Ops 6, and I've been really enjoying it so much. I know there's a lot of people that might disagree. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's not classic zombies. It's not, it's not pre-BO4 zombies. It's not a repeat of fucking Black Ops 3 again. And I, what I say to that is, Black Ops 3 was about nine years ago, little bro. We gotta move on. The only then, like, if we move on into newer and bigger games, and newer and bigger, like, ideas, can we actually pro progress in this kind of series, you know? And in my opinion, this is, like, the progression for zombies that I think we desperately needed. I mean, Cold War was a fantastic game. I mean, most people know I loved Cold War, but one of my big problems was the issue that happened around August of 2021. Obviously, the ban situation, I know. I know. There are some people that are like, oh, well, you shouldn't even be playing this game. You should probably be boycotting it. Look, that situation was three years ago. I've moved on. But it still kind of ruined my perspective. Uh, my perspective so to speak, I mean, <laughs> of Cold War. It's still a good game, though. It still has some of the best maps in, this, in the recent years, if I'm being honest. Then we all know what happened. Vanguard, that kind of ruined the hype. NWZ was promising. It was okay. I'm not going to say it's amazing. I'll say, like, it was good. You know, it had a lot of good ideas. But in my opinion, I just thought it wasn't the right time personally if I'm being honest but you know it is what it is <laughs> oh man but black ops 6 my dudes oh man these maps are so freaking good dude like we got freaking terminus island it's like a mix between mob of the dead and zetsubo no shima two of the best maps in zombies history in my personal opinion like there's so f much there's so much fun like I love, I love Terminus. I, I freaking love this map, if I'm being honest. It has the challenge of a classic Zombies map from, like, BO1, BO2 even. At least in my opinion. I know you can cheese it with, like, what, the Mutant Injection and all that. But that's boring. I understand there are people that will do that and all that. And, you know, if they want to play with the Mutant Injection, go for it. For me, I'm going to play it the classic way. Running and gunning. And seeing how long I can survive while doing so. And that's what I've really been enjoying about this. Like, it's been so much fun. Like, genuinely, I, I have not been this happy or satisfied with a game's launch. Well, a Call of Duty's game's launch. Like, I guess maybe Cold War was the last one I was satisfied with? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I'd have to say Cold War was the last time. Because we had Vanguard. That was a disaster. Everyone knows Vanguard was a disaster in every sense of the word. And, you know, we had MW2, which I did play at launch, but I was like... Yeah, yeah. 
And then MW3, I didn't even play that at launch because I was just, nah, man, this is just wank, if I'm being honest. Which it was, if I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. It was really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just going to say how it is. It was a bad launch, in my opinion. And it wasn't really a great game, if I'm being honest. I know there are people that like it, but I don't know. I, I just didn't enjoy it, personally. But, you know, with this one here, BO6 is the first time I can genuinely say I am happy with the launch. I'm happy with how the game has come out. And I'm just having so much fun. I've been playing a lot with friends, like both online and in real life, playing this game. It's been so cool, man. I've had so much fun. We've just been goofing around, going for high rounds, doing the Easter eggs, doing the Dark Ops challenges. I haven't done the Dark Ops challenges at all. Like The only ones I really kind of went for were the BO3 ones, and there were only, like, what, four of them? Like... For, for this game, I'm going all in. Like, I, I did the round 51 challenge from Terminus Island on the Easter egg. I've done the 30-minute speedrun for Liberty Falls. And then, oh, let me get into Liberty Falls real quick. Dude, everyone that said that map was going to be shit, I, you guys are eating your words right now, little dude. <laughs> it's good to have, do the uh, Clarkson smoke face, if you will, to those kind of idiots. Because Liberty Falls is such a fun map. It's, it's a fun little chill chill zone, little, you know, goof around with the boys, kind of vibe map, and I've been having so much fun playing it, and, oh man, it's just been amazing, the guns feel fun, the story is amazing, I love the Dark Aether story so far, it's been really good, and, and plus it's a sequel to Cold War, I've just been really interested to see where the, like, the story has, like, picked up uh, since the events of Forsaken, and... Yeah, man, I, I've just been really enjoying this game, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> and I hope you guys have, you know, also been enjoying it, too. I, oh, man, I, I just want to say this, like, I am just so happy with this game, man. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm, like, a broken record, I'm rambling and shit. But, like, for my first proper thoughts, like, two weeks or so in for this game, I gotta say, W. W's in the chat, boys and girls. Absolutely. <laughs> And not only just that, with how great this launch is, right? I like well, how great this launch has been so far. We already know what the first map's going to be. Like, the first free map that's going to be, like, added with Season 1. We're going to go to a freaking castle in France, which is, you know, set in the location of Avalon. It, that That's awesome! We, <laughs> Wait, we knew about it in the Terminus ending cutscene, of course, of course. But... You know, then now we actually officially know that the map's gonna be a castle. We, we're going to France, and it. Oh man, Th this is amazing! Like we know that. Not only that, there's gonna be some cool things added, like all, all those new perks that's been added, new augments for the new perk, new upgrades, and all that. It's. It, it, <laughs> how could you not be excited for what's coming? Like, how can you be like miserable about how this game's been doing since its launch? Like. I'm sorry, you're just a negative Nancy looking for attention, bro, if you're, like, upset or annoyed or grumpy or whatnot. Like, this launch has been amazing so far, and I'm aware not every launch has been stable. I mean, you know, there has been bugs. Every launch has bugs. But, <laughs> oh, man. This launch has been a fun one. Like, personally, I've been having a lot of fun. I've been playing with friends that I know in real life and, you know, online as well. I haven't done this properly on a Call of Duty game for fucking years, man. And I've just really been happy to finally enjoy a Call of Duty Zombies game again. And it just feels good to say that, man. So, yeah, man. I, I, I just want to quickly say, like, I want to thank you all for watching this video. And I want to let you guys know... We will be doing way more Call of Duty Zombies, like, BO6 content coming up this year. I am planning to go balls to the walls with this game. I mean, I, I want to say this. The games that I have planned in the pipeline are currently this. Payday Free, as, you know, there's been some updates happening for that game, and I'll be continuing to cover that game still. Um... <clears throat> Uh, obviously GTA, because I know there'll be people that are like, Oh, you're going to stream the GTA update? Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll be streaming, don't worry. And obviously, Leaving Legal, my new series with Go Burns, will be continuing that. But this game, 
this is going to be like my bread and butter for a while. <laughs> so, oh man, I've really been enjoying it, and I I'm glad that a lot of people have been as well because apparently this has been a very successful launch so far for um Call of Duty fans. Like a really really successful launch. So I'm looking very much forward to what the future has in store for this game. I look forward to also streaming it much more in the future i look forward to having fun with friends in the future on this game i'm very excited the, the future has never been brighter when it comes to like being a being a fan of cod zombies and i look very much forward to what lies ahead in this game's life cycle and i will be doing a stream for season one when that releases on november 14th in case anyone is wondering um <clears throat> i'll be doing a live stream playing multiplayer and zombies of course because i do love my zombies <laughs> and you know not, another thing as well with with season one we get the guided mode we've got so much cool things being added in this update like oh man like how could you be like you know annoyed or grumpy or whatnot about how this game has been so far like it's been an awesome 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 launch like my my freaking brother like, he, he hasn't played a COD Zombies game properly since BO3. He briefly played Cold War, and then he stopped playing it after I got banned. Because, obviously, you know, he had no real reason to. But he enjoyed Cold War, and this game? He fucking loves this game! Like, how how can people be negative about this game? I, I, I'm sorry, but this is just me being honest. This is me, like, my shill moment, I guess, if you will. <laughs> It's been a fantastic launch, and I just want to thank, like, you know, I guess the devs at Treyarch for making a fantastic game. It's been an awesome, awesome launch, and I look very much forward to what the future holds for this game, and obviously, all the content that is to come, too. It's going to be a fun time. It's really going to be a really, really fun time, and I, I look very much forward to it. So, I first of all want to say before I go, thank you everyone for watching the video. If you did enjoy, do feel free to leave a like. Um, if you're new around here and you enjoy my content, or enjoy the content you're watching, do feel free to consider subscribing, as it does help out. And I, you know, I'm going to try and do the best content I can this, this uh, for the rest of this year, as well as for 2025. 2025, this is our time our time boys and girls and i also want to quickly announce as well with this uh little little video too uh most people know i was meant to do a ghost shima let's play earlier this year around august or september i think it was unfortunately that is pretty much canned but i would like to also announce that i am considering doing a black ops 6 let's play yes a black ops 6 let's play in the future you know, because in my opinion, that one's a little bit shorter in comparison to something mammoth like Ghost of Tsushima. People don't have to like like that decision, but it's personally a decision I'm considering on doing. But we'll have to wait and see, of course. <laughs> but I want to thank everyone for watching this video, and you know, again, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And well, as always, <laughs> it's been me, Kane. And I'll see you all in whatever the hell I do next. Bye, guys.